here. What do you have? Oh, I mean, I'm going to go with the men's 400 meter hurdles. I, I know it's a broken record for that. We've been talking about this event for two years, probably. Um, but Warholm, Rye Benjamin, Samba, uh, a world records. If it doesn't go down before, it's going to happen in the Olympic final. Uh, I feel really, really confident saying that with where uh, Carson Warholm was in mm -hmm. 2020 and obviously in 2019. Uh, that that event is is fun. And you add the entertainment value of Warholm, you know, pre-race, post-race, and the fact that he's, you know, kind of the clear top dog right now. You still have the talent of Rye Benjamin. The, the, you know, he may have actually the most talent, at least the most speed, uh, well, that's not mm -hmm. a debate that he has the most speed, but you know, you may, you could say he has the most talent. Um, so that, that event I think is really going to produce a world record. Uh, the women's 400 hurdles will lot, probably do the same. Um, but for me, the, the, the men's 400 hurdles kind of takes that next step because there are three guys as opposed to two women, um, for, for the 400 hurdles. So that's to me quite watchable. Mm -hmm. Here's an interesting stat that you probably know. How many big names would you say there are between the men's and women's formula hurdles right now? Seven. Is that a, is that, I mean, that's kind of a subjective big names. Yeah. What do you list mean by them. big Who names? would you say? Well, it's, it is subjective, oh, but who okay. would you say is a big, a big name? Basically a gold medal threat uh, in the foreign hurdles between the men and the women. Yeah. I mean, you know, Muhammad McLaughlin, uh war Warholm, benjamin samba uh shamir little uh who's the who's the uh the former bronze medalist um on the women's side the american i'm i'm forgetting her name um ashley ashley spencer am i forgetting yeah ashley spencer, ashley spencer. Uh, so that's what okay six and then that's who, i'm forgetting somebody else too oh that's well seven. you can okay. put cory carter in there yeah, well, I'm Corey just focusing Carter, on, Sorry, I'm just looking Campbell. at those, those five. Yeah. yeah. I'm just looking at those five, but you could probably extend it to somebody else to, to, you can make it even bigger. But when you take Warholm, Benjamin, Samba, McLaughlin, Muhammad, of those four, how many of them have run a 400 meter hurdle race since Doha? Oh, just Warholm. Correct. Does that worry you at all? Yeah. In terms of watchability, the fact that we haven't seen them in a while. I know eventually they'll come around and they'll race this event. No, I think I mean, does it would it if 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 LeBron James and I don't know, uh who else you want to put in there? I mean, that's a good dunker. If if they all of a sudden said, Hey guys, I know you haven't seen us in a dunk contest, it, you know, Anthony Davis, a bunch of these guys, a bunch of these superstars. Hey, I know we haven't done any dunk any dunk contests in our careers but did yeah you guys want to see us in a dunk contest and i don't think they'd be like no we haven't seen you guys do it like no save that for like the, the c plus stars that usually do the dunk no of course of course it, that doesn't yeah. worry me in the fact that because these athletes are still training and all i mean um i guess the one athlete maybe, maybe I, again i've been paying attention little and it's in and it's been here and there. Uh, what's Muhammad been up to? It feels like I haven't heard from her. Has she not made her season debut, or am I just missing that? Not in the not not. She hasn't run a four hurdle race. She's okay, but she has run race. though. She's, she's she run an run. open quarter. Yeah, she ran an open okay. quarter, but uh, I think the weather was really bad, and that it was one of those and listen, Texas meets. Yeah. And listen, I know she's she was everything in nineteen, and kind of took an off year in twenty. She is now. 30 or 31 i mean so like there will come a time i would think soon where she can't compete with the the the, the youth <clears throat> of cindy mclaughlin anymore and maybe the the fact that you know she lost a year is, is really going to hurt her i i don't know mclaughlin seems to be doing fine just based on her like light season uh, debuts and you know going in these other events that aren't her specialty but she's clearing hurdles in the in the hundred right. in the hundred uh, 100 hurdles just fine. She's running the open four just fine. I'm not going to worry about her. Uh, the only thing I, like I said, would be Muhammad. Just she's just getting a little older. But you know, she she just ran. Uh, what, what was it? 50, 52. What was it? 18 or I, I forget what it was. I mean, it it wasn't that long ago. Uh, you know, Doha 52 16. 
52 16 yeah it, doha wasn't a yeah, million yeah. years ago i know it's going to be two years ago but it shouldn't have been that long for some of these athletes i think it's good that they've they've laid off Warholm just uh you know he's just uh he's too high energy he can't sit at home like he told us and didn't want to waste a year so no it doesn't for the reason i mentioned with like the the dunk contest comparison no if if all the best athletes all, all all just decided after a long time to start competing in something exciting again i'm 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 there for it it's very watchable yeah, Muhammad also ran a couple 200s this year and a 4x4 and a 400, but she hasn't okay. gone over hurdles. I just think it was funny when we talked to Warholm. I'm never going to waste a year of my career. One year is 10% of, of an average pro's career. The other four big stars yeah. in the event uh, took a completely different approach, which is just, it's interesting. Yeah, I thought it was just an interesting contrast there.